Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today is a quick ab workout using weights. My lightest will be 12 and a half, my heaviest is 20. That is just a single dumbbell for each one of those. We'll be on our back to start things off with a sit up kick. Hey, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you do not miss any workouts. If you want more content over 200 additional workouts, make sure you click on that join button below so you can get instant access now. I'm gonna go for my 12 and a half. Kick the front leg, reach for it, and a little bit back with the weight. Now remember, we're gonna do each of these moves four times today, and there's just five moves. So take your time, get good range of motion. You're up, we're gonna twist it here. Make sure you feel like you're pulling into the waist throughout this workout. A heavy dumbbell, I'm gonna go for my 20, twisting to the front and to the back. Tuck the tailbone, again, pull into the core. Flip it, no equipment here. Hands and knees, you're gonna lift the knees from the ground, tapping the elbow. So knees lift from the ground, tap that front elbow and the back elbow. It's not a big movement here. Press solidly through those heels of the hands. Pull up and in in the waist. On your back, legs are up. We're crunching up with the dumbbell. I'm gonna use my 12 and a half. While you're doing this little crunch up, Try to tuck the tailbone just slightly. I'm gonna swap out to my 20. We have a wiper, bent knees, weight stays over the chest, and then I'm gonna drop in opposition here. One goes forward, one goes a little bit to the back. So we drop and switch. If you want more challenge, lengthen the legs. Keep the shoulders on the mat. Back to the top, so find the way that you want. I'm gonna go back into the 12 and a half for that kick sit up. Front leg kicks, reaching for the shin. And try not to do too much whipping, right? The whipping is when it's a fast motion that comes from the backside. Into your twist. I'm gonna go for the little bit heavier here. Know your spine too, All right? What it can handle for weight. Really twist as much as you can. It's like you're wringing out that waist.
beast on those hands and knees. Knee taps that front elbow and then the back. With the knees. And this one too, I like to sometimes close my eyes, really feel what's going on. On that back, legs are gonna be up. We're gonna go into that crunch. I'm gonna just try the 20. Why not, right? Wiper. This is good when you have a little bit of a moderate weight in your hands. It's going to help you with the rotation. Weight is up, legs are bent or straighter. Drop in opposition. My weight is below the chest. To the top, this is round three. I'm gonna go for my 12 and a half. I'm gonna change one of them up here eventually. So sit up, kick, kick and reach. We have our twist. How's everybody doing though? Ooh, we just did arms earlier, so we're feeling those arms too. Twist it to the front and the back. Things that can make it feel different right now. If you're in round three, maybe you wanna go a little faster or stay slow. moment, right? Knees under hips, lift them up. And you can even hold for that little bit of hesitation. If your arms are getting tired, you can always do it just a forearm plank. Ooh, flip it. This one we're gonna do leg drop. We're gonna hold the weight over the chest area and just drop the legs. I'm gonna go for 20, legs are up. Lower the legs, lift the legs. Now anchor your dumbbell like kind of over the forehead area. Just make sure you're holding it nice and strong so it doesn't drop. As the legs lower down, you're still trying to pull in, pull in. Wiper. Legs are up, weight is up. Let's drop to the back this time, weight to the front. And switch that direction.
at you guys. We got one more move, one more round. Sit up with that kick. Woo. All right, best round yet. Take note too how you feel when you do things more than one time, right? Definitely harder. Really fatiguing the muscles. I'm gonna finish my last kick into that twist. Nice ringing out of that waist. And the further away the weight is, the harder it can be too. So if you don't have a heavy weight, again, you can have a longer lever. Coming into that beast position. Knees lift. I like that exhale as I'm touching knee to the back of my arm. Pull up and in. Leg drop with the weight over the chest, actually behind slightly. So it can be just above the forehead, legs are up. Lowering the legs on the inhale. Twisted. Oh my gosh, right? Especially after the upper body, strong. <laughs> Legs are up, just to the back and to the front. And relax, weight is down. Legs reach, arms reach. Take a deep breath here. <sighs> arms come by the side. We're gonna flip onto all four. Just give me cat and cow, so rounding the back. But pay attention to the spine here. Start at the tailbone, round the back. Press through the heels of the hands, really round, round, round. And then starting from the tailbone, release. And then let the belly drop, chest drop, eyes up. One more time, starting from the tailbone, round. Chin drop. Tailbone lifts. Belly and chest. One more of those. Release it. And then open the knees wide, sit back in child. And we're gonna leave you guys right here. So one more deep inhale, exhale. Have that attitude of gratitude to this amazing body for all that it did. I wanna say thank you to my crew, thank you to you. Remember if you enjoy the workout, thumb it up, comment below, share with a friend and work out with those friends, right? Create that tribe and that's gonna level up your vibe. And we'll see you guys at the next workout.